you know why we want to talk to you, John? I don't know. I think so. Why do you think I want to talk to you? About that boy. Yes? Because someone took him and killed him. Yes. It wasn't me. I never went to Poodle Strand. Well, we're not going to talk about that just now. First, we're going to talk about something else. Do you know what truth is, John? Yeah. Go on. You tell us what you think truth is. That you've done something and it's true. And what if you were telling lies? I don't know. Is telling lies wrong? Yeah. So if I said that your face is green and your hair is pink, would that be a lie? Yeah. Okay. So you know what a lie is. Robert, you've seen the pictures on TV showing James and the two boys who took him, haven't you? Yeah. It isn't me, because I didn't take him. Well, there's a boy in the video who has a jacket just like yours. There's lots of jackets the same as mine. But there's also a boy with a jacket like John's walking next to James. Well, he's not walking with me. But you were there, weren't you? Yeah. I was there. I saw him, but I didn't take him. What was he doing? He was just with his mum. He had a blue coat. I think, John, you should know that Robert is at Walton Lane Police Station, and he's told a different story of what happened on Friday. Robert probably told lies. What do you think Robert lied about? I don't know. You think I killed the kid? No, they don't think that, John. There's no need to get upset. No one's saying that, John. They just want to know where you've been. If you've been robbing all day, you should tell them. I never went to Brutal Strand. Now, is that the truth or a lie? It's truth. John told me earlier that Robert is going to tell all kinds of lies. Robbie took me to places I didn't know. He's frightened because he doesn't know all the places, and Robert does. <laughs> Was it the bootless strands? No. You see, Robert says that he was with you, and that you were indeed in Bootle New Strand together. We wasn't. Robert says you were? Yeah, we was, but we never saw any kids there. We never loved any kids. So you were in Bootle New Strand? Was you in Bootle Strand? Yeah, but we never got a kid, Mum. We never, we never got a kid. Mrs. Venables, would you? I must ask you not to get angry with him. We never got a kid, okay, Mum. Okay. We oh. never, we oh. saw them two last together. I think you saw more of James, because you wouldn't remember a blue coat from a brief glance. I never took him. But we believe that you left with baby James and with John. Says who? We say. No, I never left with him. Well, tell me what happened then. I never touched him. I never touched him. That's why you noticed his anorak. Because John had hold of his hand, isn't that right? Yeah. John grabbed hold of the baby's hand and just walked around with him for a bit. But then he let him go loose. Where did John let him go? By the church. I told John to take him back. Well, I have a statement from a woman who said she saw two boys with a baby on the reservoir. Now, I think that's you and John with James. What happened to him? We just found him at the bottom of the hill. Did he have a fall? That's a bad bruise. It was like that when we found him. 
Well, you'd best take him to Walton Lane Police Station. Do you know where it is? Yeah, we'll bring him now. <laughs> you knew that I went to Brule Strand. I would have strangled you. Yeah. And wouldn't be so like a little kid. I never. I'd never think of that. <laughs> Because I wouldn't have told, because I thought you'd think I'd done it. If I would have known all this now, John, I would have had you down the police station right away. Instead of them banking on my front door, making a show of me in the street. And I... I thought you'd think I killed him. We just found him. He was lost in the Strand. We're bringing him to the police station now. If you found him by the Strand, why didn't you bring him to the police station by the Strand? We were bringing him to Walton Lane Police Station. You've come an awfully long way from the Strand to Walton Lane Police Station. Well, that's where the man directed us. Where do you live? Uh, the police station is on the way home. Are you all right? We'll bring him to the police station. <laughs> Do you mind looking after my little girl whilst I take him to the station? Oh, my dog doesn't like children. He's afraid of them. Sorry. OK, boys. Do you know which way you're going? Yeah, we know. Are you sure you know the way? I'll go that way, missus. So, you did leave with James then? Yeah. We went to the strands and we picked little James up. Well, he, John did. Right. Then we took him down and left him on the how. On the how? By the railway. Why did you leave James there? Because if we took him to the police station, then we'd have to go inside. He wasn't crying anymore. He was just looking round. He'd only had a grace. Now, would you have left baby Ben? Your brother there, if he was to? No, because he's my brother. And would you have left a similar boy? He's not, though. He's not any relation to us. Mum is younger than he has this. Robert says that you took James by the hand and led him out of the Strand shops. We never, we never. No, not we. Robert is saying that you took him by the hand. We never. Not Robert. You did it. I never. Well, why would Robert say that about you? He's a liar. Right, right, come on, look, you, you, you I never struck him by the hand. I never even joined you the baby. John, you all right to carry on? Yeah. John, look at me. If you want to stop at any time, you just say so. You need to tell the truth, John, because you keep telling us stories. I never got the boy. Well, if you never got the boy, tell us what happened. Was it Robert? You're nodding your head. Yeah. He left him in, he left him in the road. Right, well, let's go back to the Strand. No, I never did, you boy, Mum, I never did. OK. <sighs> Come here, son, all right. Come on. Come on. Oh, God, no. Settle yourself down. I can't. I never touched him. Sit down and go to your mum. All right, all right. You're going to get me crying now. Look, I never, Mum. I know you wouldn't. I know you wouldn't do that to a boy. All right, well... Why don't you tell us what happened, John? I left Robert on his own. Tell me the truth now, John. Please. I never killed him. My took him left the canal, Mum. That's all. You left him at the canal? By the Strand? Yeah. Where did you find the boy in the Strand? I don't know. He was just walking around on his own. I never killed him, Mum. I never killed him, Mum. I wouldn't hurt a baby. Oh, no, you wouldn't hurt a baby. I want to go home. I've already told you what I know. You're going to put me in jail. I never want. I 
You see, Robert, if James was bleeding and we find his blood on your clothes or John's, then we'd know that you were there when he was bleeding. But how would you know it was baby James's blood? We'd know because we have his body. Where? Well, it doesn't matter where. He's probably been to the hospital first. Why? To take blood from his arm. Like they did with you. They've taken him to try to get him alive again. No? No. They can't do that. I was told he got chopped in half. Well, he couldn't come alive again, could he? If he'd been chopped in half. The blood might be mine because I was bleeding from a cut. Well, you couldn't do that with your shoe. And the blood has been found on your shoe. <laughs> I never murdered him. <laughs> you should have trying to say that I murdered him. Why aren't you doing this to John? Ask John. I never touched him. Dad and I want to say something to you. And it's important, right? Okay. We want you to know that we love you very, very much. More than anything. And nothing's going to change that, okay? So, what I'm trying to say, John, is that no matter what happens, no matter what you've done, even if it's really, really bad. You always love you, you know that, don't you? Yeah. We always love you, John. But you've got to tell the truth. <laughs> Mom. Will you tell her I'm sorry? Where did you find James? At the botches. And whose idea was it to take him? Mine. Then it was Robert's idea to kill him. Why did you want to take him? I just said to Robert, is that boy lost or something? We were looking around for his mum for a bit. But then we got fed up and we went outside to the canal. Come on, baby. Come on, let's look at the water. Come on, let's push him in. Then Ruby picked him up and threw him on the floor. And that's where he got the bump on his head. Was he crying then? Yeah. ran away, but then we came back, and he was already walking up to us. I'm sick of having my little brother. I have him in school all the time. I'm gonna tell me mummy ain't gonna mind no more.
We got to the middle of the bridge and Robert opened the painting and then, then he threw it in James's face. I can't tell you anything else. Why? Because that's the worst bit. Okay. Right. I know that's the worst bit. But you know what you did. And if you try hard, you'll be able to tell us. Just have a little rest. Think about it and just tell us what happened. We took him on the railway and started throwing bricks at him. Who did? Robbie. He just said, he said, stand there and we'll get you a plaster or something. Then he lifted this brick up and threw it in his face. You've denied a lot of things, Robert, and then admitted them. We were right about those things. I'm right about this as well. Yeah, well, I didn't kill him. If you just tell them the truth, this will all be over in a few minutes. John threw a brick in his face. Why? I don't know. Right, we're getting there, are we? We're getting to the truth now. Yeah, well, I'm gonna end up getting all the blame because I got blood on me. What happened after John threw the brick? The brick hit him in his face and he fell over on the floor. Why the hell did you just leave? I did. After that, I ran. I left John on his own. What was the baby doing? He was just on the floor, crying. Was he awake or asleep? What do you mean? Like, was he asleep or...? He was awake. Then Robbie said, pick up a brick and throw it. But I just... I threw it on the floor. I missed on purpose, cause, cause I didn't want to hurt him. But then Robbie picked up the same brick and threw it again. I don't think that you've told us the full truth. That's all a scene. We already know about things that happened and it doesn't explain a lot of things. And you were there like, and seen me? No, but we can tell what happened from his injuries. Why would I take flowers over to the baby if I killed him? I know the truth. I believe I know the truth. So do I. I was there. That's right. You went. Then Robbie threw about ten bricks. I only threw six or five. But I missed James and hit him in the arm. Because I never meant to hit him in the arm. I wanted to get the brick to the side of him. Was he bleeding? All over. It's all our family. It's always our family that gets the blame. Your family might have got blame in the past, but on this occasion we're right, aren't we? No, because I never touched him. Tell us what happened then. John threw another brick. Where did that hit him? On there. What happened then? Then he hit him again with the big metal thing that had holes in it. Where did he hit him with that? In the head, he just went like that and hit him. <gasps> he hit him with the bar, and I think he was knocked out. Then we threw a few bricks at him, and we ran away. Why did you run away? I don't know. I just said to Robert, don't you think we've done enough now? Were you angry with James? No. I didn't really want to hurt him. I didn't want to hurt him in nothing, because I didn't want to hurt him in strong things, only like light things. So you only wanted to hurt him a little bit? Answer the question. Why did you want to hurt him a little bit? I mean, I didn't want to hurt him really. Robert probably... Robbie's probably doing it for fun or something, because he was laughing his head off. Why did... Why did he do all this? Why did John do all this? I don't know. That's what I don't know. I don't believe, Robert, that you just stood idly by while John did all those things. I was trying to pull John back. John has admitted to throwing stones, things like that. But he's also blaming you on a lot of things. I don't think John did everything. Yeah, well, I never. I think you is it. Well, that's what you think. There's only one person here that knows the old truth. I know, and I've just said it all. 
I know I never hit him, so I've got nothing to bother about. I can't. I can't sit through any more of this. Did either of you take James's clothes off? Robbie pulled his pants off and his undies. And I pulled his shoes off. Why? I don't know why. It was last week. I keep forgetting. I don't anymore now, Dad. He's asking me to ask questions. Why would I want to kill a baby when I've got a baby of my own? If I wanted to kill a baby, I'd kill... I'd kill my own, wouldn't I? Well, you said your own baby's family, didn't you? What do you mean? But that's what you said. I know he's my family. I'm not stupid. I don't even know what you've gone wrong about. When James's body was found, his bottom clothing had been removed. Can you tell us why that is? No. Did you start playing with him? With who? With James's bottom? No. Are you sure now? Yeah. I'm not a pervert, you know. John says it was you who pulled off his pants on his underpants. So in other words, you're taking what John says and just ignoring me. So I'll ignore you. There was an injury to James's mouth. Do you know anything about that? No. I'm not answering anymore. I think there's still some things you haven't told us, John. The batteries. Why were the batteries there? I don't know. I think you do know, John. I never put them there. Robert just threw them. It was a little bit more than throwing them. I don't know. I don't know, Dad. John, is it horrible what happened to the batteries? No, I don't know anything about what Robert did with the batteries. Why are you crying then? Because you're blaming on me that I had them. I don't know about the batteries. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, hey, don't go to punch your dad. My dad thinks I know, and I don't. You say I do, and I don't know, and you know we got killed. Calm down, John. Can you tell us what happened to James's mouth? I don't know. I never saw nothing. John, you've got to admit to yourself that you saw everything that happened there. Yes, I never... Because you were a part of it. No, I never. So you can't say you didn't see. No, I want my mom. Please, I never. Please, I don't know. We're going to take a drive, John. We'll start at the Strand and you can show us the route you took from there. Don't know, John. Just... 
Was that train going past? Yeah. I know all them trains. <laughs>